Greetings gamers, this is Hawks from MilitaryGamers.com community. I'm here today with Agent Wushu and I'm going to be talking a little bit more about cultivation and the more advanced aspects to it. Now if you didn't catch my other video, I'll make sure to put it in the description. It basically explains the basics of cultivation and um, you definitely need to see that so you can understand what I'm going to be talking about here. Now last time I showed you cultivation internal uh sorry internal cultivation and how that uh over time funnels into your skill here um i didn't speak about practice martial arts or team practice but i'm going to be covering that now now practice martial arts is essentially uh, a form of you know basically exercising martial arts style you know asian style um and you start doing this by yourself and as you can see here that you have uh, your same skill that you had cultivating whatever skill you choose it'll be up here and it'll tell you how much cultivation you have at the moment, and it'll tell you how long until it completes in the level. Now, right here's the progress bar, how much you have, how much you need, etc. Down here is basically different types of potions and pills and medicine, essentially. That's the lore behind it um, that you can take by paying money. If I mouse over that, 17 Leanne. If I mouse over this, 5 Leanne. If I mouse over that, 1 Leanne is what I need. Now, at the bottom, you see all these numbers. Basically, if I pay 17 Leanne for this potion here, I get anywhere um, uh, between 1630 and any uh, like a couple of thousand higher than that. Um, sorry, a couple of hundred of, uh, higher than that. And it could be a little lower as well. It's not 100%, and, but it can be uh, 1630 itself. But there is a possibility of it being increased or lower. Same thing applies for this and this. Um, of course, these are cheaper options in case uh, you don't have enough money. And something you need to be aware about is you can use coins or tails to do these things. Um, they give you the option of what currency. Again, like I said in my previous video, tails is way too important. And I don't recommend using it for things like this. Um, coins, uh, according to this, you have a particular cap. You can't just do this all the time. You know, like if you are a rich person and you put in hundreds of dollars in the, into this game, you can't just say, hey, I'm going to convert all this money into tails and then go crazy. You cannot. It, it, there is a limit to how much you can perform it in a day by paying money. And that's wonderful because it keeps things a lot more balanced for everybody. Now, in my case, I've been doing this a couple of times. Um, I unfortunately had to restart the video a couple of times. So I don't have a lot of money. I mean, I don't have a lot of options here. I can only do 2 Leanne and 370 when worth of, you know, forced cultiv cultivation. And in this case, it would be this twice. Um, but I do have the money to do the 17 Leanne. Uh, look at the coin here. I have 385. I do have 17 Leanne coin. The problem is, like I said, they don't want people to just go crazy, um, you know, grinding and then doing this all day. You you can't do that. So let me show you how it looks. I'll press this, and it will take the money out. Look at that. Look at that crit. 1440. I was supposed to get 180. I got 1440 for that. This is a great way to level up if you need just a little bit. But to do it all the way, it would be a lot of money. And, you know, coins you gain by questing. So, hey, go ahead and do it right before you go to sleep. If you want to spend all your, all your coins, then fine. I mean, you know, you could get it back the next day, what have you. Or, uh, or don't. I mean, you could use your tails if you like. But, um... I took a way to, you know, cap it out if you want to, you know, level up your, your skill before you go to sleep or go FK or whatever and um, not have to worry about your next skill, etc. Now, that's essentially the practice mode. And now, let me show you a team practice. A team practice is basically the same sort of exercise routine you just saw there, uh, but in a form of a team. And this is what this is in front of me. Now, as you can see, there's 10 people. But it can be anywhere between 1 through 10. Now, it's advised to do it with 10 people because you get the most out of it uh, if you do it with the max number, which is 10. The, the person in the middle would be the person who started the team practice. And you know while he's waiting for people to join him, if you're walking by here, you'll see a pop-up overhead that's saying, hey, team practice is about to start. Now, this is automatic. He didn't put that out there. It's just as long as uh, he started it, that pop-up is going to pop up in the vicinity. Now, the guy can go out of his way and, and talk um, and chat and basically say, hey, there's a team practice here at the Sacred Lands. Uh, I'll explain that in a bit. Uh, and come join me. It's a so-and-so round. Now, the thing with team practice is it can be... A, you know, assortment of rounds. You have a 
few options. You can do a 10 round team practice, another 10 round team practice, um, a 20 round team practice, a 25 round team practice. As you can see here, it can be between one through 10 people and it'll tell you the game rounds and it'll tell you uh, how many minutes it'll take for each. So less rounds means less amount of time, but it also means less cultivation. Um, and the more you do cultivation, the longer it lasts, the team practice, the more it crits up. It's almost like a multiplier, if you could, if you if you would say. Um, you start off with something you know low, better than what you would normally make uh, in your 100 sec seconds uh, tick that you do uh, constantly. It would definitely be better than that by far. But then it'll multiply little by little, it'll do double, and then it'll do double of that, et cetera, et cetera. And it's something that it's ridiculously great. But the gist of it is you do get fatigued. You'll see it if you're doing the two practice. You'll see it up in the uh, upper right that you have a fatigue percentage. And the fatigue percentage, uh, if it gets to 100, you can't do team practices that same day anymore. Um, also, cultivation. You have to have a lot of it on standby. So if you do a 20-round team practice, make sure you have at least 40,000 cultivation because you will go through it. Um, it's not guaranteed because, again, it's based on crits and whatnot. But a lot of times you go through 40,000 cultivation in about... 15 minutes if you do a 20 25 round uh, match uh, team practice and that is yes um, what i'm saying is correct it's 40,000 cultivation and that amount of time funnel into your skill and that is a ridiculous increase but again if you don't have enough cultivation you will just sit there and you will just not gain anything and you can't leave the team practice unless you want a shitload of people being angry at you and coming and chasing you off and remember this is a uh, a P a open PvP game. You can die whenever, and you don't want to be trolled or, or ganked or uh, has you know hassled and essentially interrupt your gameplay because you fucked up. You know, don't do that. Now, the other thing that I have to say about is the team practice has quick time events. Now, uh, each person basically has a round. Each person represents a round, and if it's a twenty round team practice, then each person goes twice, basically out of ten. Uh, if it's twenty five rounds, then uh, each person goes twice, with the exception of the first five, they go three times. And I wish I could show you, but unfortunately I couldn't join this team practice uh, soon enough to show you. Uh, but basically, you'll see these numbers, we'll see it soon enough here. You'll see a number, a countdown, in on top of a player. Uh, there it is. Where is it? I can't see it. But it's it's around here. If you, uh, it basically, basically, the countdown represents get ready for the quick time event. And... In the team practice, you'll see a roster of the 1 through 10 players there. And you'll also see by the name that it'll say in progress. Basically, you're doing the quick time event. And the next person under that, it will say prepare. Prepare yourself to do the quick time event. You know, if you're AFK, make sure you're back. Uh, pay attention, etc. Um, and then the quick time event involves, you know, movement keys and a certain key. Now, right here is the, is the number. You see it? So this person is doing a quick time event. If he fails the quick time event, everyone else doesn't get a cultivation for this round. Um, and that's bad. People get angry, and that's why you should not go AFK because of that. Uh, so make sure you're always paying attention, and make sure you're ready to do quick time events. Now, quick time events are timed. You have a couple of seconds. It's nothing too crazy, but just got to make sure you're pressing the right keys and don't rush. Um... And it's usually, like I said, your WASD key is your movement keys, unless you you changed it up, and a letter, K, J, L, whatever, what have you. Um, and it's usually pretty simple, up, down, right, right, J, you know, things that uh, us as PC gamers can easily press in a matter of seconds uh, on a keyboard. So, you know, don't be worried, it's just a simple quick time event, and it's, uh, it's just a way to get you engaged in the team practice and not watch these guys just you know move around all day um i think i covered all that there needs to be i mean i can make a video next time of showing the interface and how it works but i definitely explain everything that involves um uh, in the team practice and it looks like these guys might have been done um yeah it looks like it's they're done so uh this is hawks uh, signing off with military